lovelies, so I have something fun today, and that is a Halloween homeware haul. And uh, I actually did this, I want to say the start of September, but I just have not had the chance to do this video, so I haven't even taken anything out of the bag. I've had to show a lot of willpower and not touch anything so I could do this haul. I don't know if Jake has poached anything because we both got some stuff, but I think most of it's in here. I got all of this from TK Maxx. Um, I think in the US they call it TJ Maxx for some reason. I don't know why they're different. But yes, I got everything from TK Maxx and I am happy. Halloween stuff makes me happy. There was still, there was like so much more that I wanted, but had to hold back. Okay, so I'm just gonna start grabbing stuff from the bag. Is that, I forgot about this, I'm excited already. See, this is great, it's actually good that it took me so long to do this because it's not, it's like surprises. I bought surprises for myself, do you see? So, are you ready? Oh, it, just, it matches my outfit. Look at this bowl. Isn't this so cute? Like, uh, I don't even, like, we don't really tend to keep fruit in the house because whenever we buy fruit, you know, we tend to eat it straight away. And I'm contemplating just even getting, like, cute fake fruit to put in this when we're not using it. But then if we're having parties or something, it could be like a punch bowl, maybe? I've never made punch. Could this be a punch bowl? It's cute. I'm just so happy with it. Like, next up, I think Jake got this for his studio. And it's like a little sort of sugar skull type painting thing. Does it have batteries in it? It doesn't even have batteries in it right now, but the uh, you, you can see the design there. I think that's supposed to light up. So that is going to go in Jake's studio. But yes, just a cute little piece. This next thing is so tacky, but I just, I really wanted it for some reason. I don't know. I don't know where I'm gonna put it. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I saw it and I was like, tacky and I need it. Does anyone else do that? Am I the only one like, you see something you're like, oh my God, that's so tacky. I need it. That is me, honestly. <laughs> but it is this. It's like, it's a weird mixture of like classy and tacky because it is like a really nice, you know, skull cast, like fake skull, like the detail and everything's beautiful and, but it's just like this big gold skull with a crown, <laughs> but I kind of love it. I don't know, like maybe whenever this attic is an actual room and not just like, I don't know, just w whatever I've done here, then maybe I could find a place for it up here or something. I don't know. It's just really cool and I felt like I needed it, so. Next up, following the Scully theme, I got this boyo. I didn't actually realize when I got it that it like, oh, this does have batteries. Um, so the eyes light up in this. I don't know if I really like that or not, so I don't know if I'll have them on super often, but it's just like a cool little little pillar of skulls. Um, so obviously whenever there isn't a crazy bright light shining on it, these little bulbs aren't quite as noticeable. But yeah, I just thought this would be nice for the living room, maybe somewhere around the fireplace or something. So grabbed this. Next up, I got two little, um, I don't really know what they are. Little boxy, I don't know, little wooden blocks, but they're really cute so you can like prop them up somewhere. I might put one in the bedroom or the living room, I'm not sure, but this says, finest quality bat wings for sale to licensed witches only. And I just think that is so cute. I like that it does look like an old, you know, like an old box or something. Like it is genuinely something you'd buy in like an old witchy shop. So I really, really like this. And then the other thing in a similar vein is this one. So it's the same sort of thing. And it says, eat, drink, and be scary, which is just super cute. If we had like a dining room or something, I'd put this out. I, I need a bigger house for all the decorating that I want to do. Like, honestly, if you give me an unlimited budget and we're like, make a house, <sighs> you don't even know. I would be great at that. <laughs> but yeah, so I will find somewhere to put this anyway. But yeah, it's super, super cute. I mean, I also need a bigger house because I'm a hoarder. <laughs> There's not enough room for stuff, but it's fine. <laughs> oh, I forgot about this. We are almost done. But uh, next up, it's not like really, it's not really Halloween or homeware, but I need to show it anyway. It's like a little cute jumper for Sebastian and I had to get it because it's like a proper like, it's like quite a nice knit and it actually has like little, little buttons and stuff on it and I just thought this was like so cute and sweet so he's gonna hit it but he'll look really cute so I just and it has a little hood so yeah I completely forgot about this I'm gonna have to put it on him oh 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 and finally and I'm glad to finally be doing this because now I get to use it and it is the perfect time because it's it's almost Halloween and it is a candle and this is honey pumpkin scented and even without having the lid off and just hold it here I can smell already and oh it's so good. So, yeah, Honey Pumpkin, it is, um, I don't really know what the brand is. Can you see? But yeah, it just, 
oh, it's a double wick candle and it smells so good. And it, like, whenever you actually smell it, it's a really weird mixture between it being like a really warm, sweet, comforting scent, but then also quite a fresh smelling scent. I don't really know how they've combined those two and made it work, but it's actually very nice. <laughs> I get to like this tonight. Oh, and that, mmm, is that everything? Maybe Jake did poach some stuff. That's everything I have in this bag anyway. I feel like there might have been something else, but. Anyway, I am very happy with the stuff I got. There were so many things I wanted. Like there was a little teapot that was like in the shape of a pumpkin and I so badly wanted that, but we just didn't get a chance to go back. Honestly, I could have spent a hideous amount of money in there if I were let loose and if I had money. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there were just super cute things. Honestly, anytime Halloween's coming up, actually, you might even try checking TK Maxx or TJ Maxx because they might have stuff on discount if people haven't got all of it already. So maybe give it a go. But yeah, definitely anytime Halloween's coming up, that's like the best place I can recommend, especially like in the UK where there isn't very much good Halloween stuff. TK Maxx never lets me down, so that's my recommendation. So I hope you enjoyed this quick little Halloween homeware haul. I hope everyone's getting very excited for Halloween. We kind of already celebrated Halloween this past weekend because Halloween's in the middle of the week this year, but it's it's not proper Halloween, you know? You need to be excited for real Halloween. There's like one fly up here. And I gonna like rage war against it. Um, yes, I hope you all have had a lovely Halloween weekend. I hope you all end up having a really nice Halloween Halloween. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Before you go, if you could check out my Patreon, that would be amazing. That would help me out a lot. That is how I pay bills. And it's very, very stressful doing YouTube as a full-time thing because it is so fickle. So thank you to everyone who supports me on Patreon because you help take some of that stress off. And that is wonderful. So the link is in the description. If you've never seen it before, even just go check out the page, see what you think. And I would really even just appreciate that. And I will see you next time. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.